To search for a magazine, journal, or newspaper article is very easy to do. Simply come to our homepage and click Find an Article. From there, you're presented with a list of different categories. There are over 40 different databases available for your use to locate periodical articles. The key that unlocks the door, though, if you are off campus, is your Lewis and Clark ID card. So make sure, if you haven't done so already, that you stop in so we can put the number in our computer system. Once you've given it some thought as to what it is you're looking for, then you can go a step further by choosing one of these different links. For example, perhaps you're working on a literature paper for English class. You might want to click our Arts and Literature link. Or perhaps you're in a business class and are researching Reebok, then you'd want to click our business link. In many cases, there is a lot of overlap, so it's okay if you're not exactly sure where to begin, but when in doubt, we recommend that you click General. The reason for this is the databases that are available cover a wide variety of topics, everything from the social sciences to politics to sports. So it's a really good place to begin. And the database that we suggest is Academic Search Premier. It's the first one on the list. If you are off campus, when you click on it, it will prompt you to enter your ID card. From there, you're then given a search area. Now say I am working on a literature paper. No problem. Simply enter the topic that you're researching. From there, a list of results is generated. Now if all you do is enter your topic and then click search, you'll get a variety of results. Some of them may have what's called the full text, which means with the click of a mouse you can get the entire article, and some of them may not. Now, if you want to weed those things out, there is a space over on the right-hand side of the screen that says full text. Click in that box and then update results. And now you have a new list of possibilities, but all of them are going to be in full text, which means you can get the entire article. If you click on the title of something, it will pro provide you with a summary of what that article is about. It may even tell you what type of article it is. Is it a book review? Is it a movie review? Just what kind of article is it? You will have one or two options for viewing your article. One may be HTML, which means that it will look like just a general web page. The other might be PDF, in which case it's a digital scan of the original just like you had the actual copy in your hand and made a photocopy of it. Some instructors put limits on the types of periodical you can use. They may say you can only use journal articles. So if you want to avoid any confusion as to what type of article you're looking at, over on the left there are several links that will help you narrow things. So if my instructor does tell me I can only use journal articles, I can simply click this link and out of my big list of results, it will now generate one that is strictly journal articles, making things much easier and less confusing. Now, there are several things that you can do with these articles. You can print them, you can download them to memory sticks and hard drives, and you can also email them, making their availability virtually 24-7.